line problem if the lines x y plus x plus y plus 1 is equal to 0 and x plus a y minus 3 is equal to 0 are concurrent then a is equal to first option 2 second option minus 2 third option 4 fourth option minus 4. So, that means the first represents pair of lines that means two lines third one these three lines are concurrent that means so first let us find out the bind of intersection of the pair of lines and substitute in the third line we get the a value that is the strategy has to be followed in this problem. Already in the previous episode we have discussed how to find out point of intersection of the pair of straight lines that can be done four or five methods. So, let us do the methods first after that let us substitute that point of intersection in the given equation so that we can find out the value of a. So, here hint first method a for 0, b for 0 because x square coefficient is 0, constant is 1, 2 h is 1, but very careful write down h is equal to 1 by 2, 2 g 1. So, g is equal to 1 by 2, 2 f is also 1, f becomes 1 by 2. So, point of intersection already in the previous episode I have discussed point of intersection is equal to minus f by h comma minus g by h ok minus f by h means minus half by minus half sorry minus half by plus half minus 1 comma minus 1 point of intersection has been obtained using first method. So, second method what is the second method? See second method is factorization finding individual equations separate equations from first take x common y plus 1 plus 1 common y plus 1 is equal to 0. So, we get y plus 1 into x plus 1 is equal to 0. So, x plus 1 is equal to 0 and y plus 1 is equal to 0, x is minus 1, y is minus 1. Therefore, point of intersection is equal to minus 1 comma minus 1. This is second method. Now, third method. Third method suppose s is equal to x y plus x plus y plus 1. So, I am trying to give more exposure for the more different method strategies. So, now application of derivatives dou s by dou x is equal to 0. So, with respect to x y x differentiation 1 y plus 1 is equal to 0 therefore, y is equal to minus 1 understood now. Now, dou s by dou y is equal to 0. So, that means x plus y differentiation 1 here x is equal to minus 1. So, what is the point of intersection that is minus 1 comma minus 1 see in this way any one of the three methods using we can find out point of intersection. It is not our aim, our aim is to determine a value. So, that means this minus 1 comma minus 1 lies on this line. So, minus 1 comma minus 1 lies on x plus a y minus 3 is equal to 0. Let us substitute minus 1 minus a minus 3 is equal to 0. So, minus 4 is equal to a or a is equal to minus 4. So, just options fourth option is the right option. Tenth problem 
if 9x square minus 24xy plus ky square minus 12x plus 16y minus 12 is equal to 0 represents a pair of parallel lines, then we have to find out the value of k. First option 2, second option 4, third option 8, fourth option 16. This is cons concept based question or conceptual question. So, if a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c is equal to 0 represents a pair of lines then h square is equal to a b we have one condition. Using that condition this problem can be easily we can solve it. See first here a for 9 b is y square coefficient that has to be determined k c is minus 12 and 2 h is minus 24 where h is minus 12 2 g is minus 12 g is minus 6 2 f is 16 whereas f is 8 since since they represent parallel lines that means pair of parallel lines h square is equal to a b let us substitute it minus 12 square is equal to 9 into k, k is equal to 12 into 12 by 9, 3 3 ja, 3 4 ja, 3 4 ja, 16, k is 16, which is the right option. So, fourth option will be the right option. 